Okay, so let's go and take a look at this actually in action now. Um, first thing you notice, everything is sturdy. Um, there's no flex, there's no rigidity. Um, it, I mean, it's just sturdy. Zero flex. That little drift right now around the corner actually felt stiff like it is. Usually in my rig, it's a little flex. <laughs> See? No flex. I mean, that already sold me. Actually, I want this as my personal rib now. Oi! Ah, we crashed. Here, I'm actually going to crash at a high speed so you can watch the wheel go crazy and watch the rig. Here we go. Okay, that just went off the map. But you guys get my point. The point is, there's no flex happening here. In the pedals, the brakes, um, I don't have the wheels locked. Let me lock the wheels. And that's one of the great features about the wheels. This comes with wheels up front, and all you do is hit the lock, and this ain't going nowhere. And then you have these rubber plates for the bottom and the back, which offer just pure awesomeness. All right, so let's go. Oi, no, 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 no. And we have this thing turned up too. And we just crashed. Okay, so we're actually driving a Porsche GT3 at Akina, which is a fake but real, real course. Not a course, it's just a road. So, uh, let's go ahead and crash again and watch. I mean, it's, it's rock solid, guys. Wah, ba, 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 ba. It doesn't get any better. So, for me, portability is a big thing. I'm a sim racer on the go, and if you're clearly watching this, something in your head is telling you. You want something to put away easily and be on the go. You don't want to have to wait around for somebody to be like, oh my god, you can be like this. All right, we're done gaming. And you can simply shut it, everything down, power your motor down, power down, disconnect, put everything down, disconnect, and now you can go, later guys, gotta go. Oop. Unlock the wheels, which is one of my favorite features. Now, we could just leave. Bye guys, gotta go. So now if I wanted to race in front of my 65 inch Samsung TV, I just carried it downstairs, rolled it down this way, and here we go. That's what I like, especially because I love big TVs. Uh, I worked at CXC Simulations and 75 inch triples, the best, you feel like you're in a car. So for me, portability, big factor now. Because now I can do what I want. I'm not stuck to my studio. So that's up to you guys. So the question is, could a product like this be even more portable? Hmm, I think so.
Now, if I want to race at my friend's house or my grandparents' house, where they also have the uh, brother to this, I can. That is fun. Otherwise, if I have my big rig at home, how am I going to transport that everywhere? It did take two people to get it up the stairs, but you can do it yourself. I carried it down my flight of stairs. My wife, I picked her up. She wanted to join in. So let's go ahead and do some racing. All right guys, so I got my grandfather in the rig. The one over there is the one he wanted for in here for the cousins, the nephews, the kids, me, when I come over. And so that's the one we got. But now that we have this one here in comparison, I wanted to ask him a few questions. Most people who might want to pick one up, they're gonna be from an all different age bracket. So let's offer the opinion from different age brackets. All right, so Rich, I got a question. How does the rig feel compared to the original one? This rig feels rock solid. I have no complaints at all about the feeling of it. It feels, in the VR, it feels like I'm in a car. It feels like the dashboard is right there. The wheel feels so solid, it's got no flex in it. Very, very, very impressed. Very impressed with this. Okay, so there you go. Um, he has a background in a lot of cars, a lot of motorcycles. Um, that's why he wanted that here, so he could race me when I'm at home, which he never does. Yeah, I'm watching you. So that's what we have concluded. You guys have seen the footage, um, but I wanted to go more in depth with you guys uh, side by side. Um, me and my nephew, uh, we didn't really get to race each other today, unfortunately, but there's plenty of that, so stay tuned. But uh, we wanted to touch on the features. There's different features on each one, and but it's the same product. It's a wheel stand, wheel stand. But there are key differences. Um, some of those differences will probably influence you to buy one or the other. And to be honest with you, you might end up buying that, depending on what motor you got, what your real interest is, so let's dive in and actually see that. So we're side by side. I wanna show some features. We'll go side by side over here so you can see it. See, here we have knobs to adjust. Here we have one bolt and it's an Allen key. So that, that's a big difference because this is more on the go, like without any tools. This not necessarily. You're gonna to need tools to also take out this brace to fold it. This one has no brace. It simply folds by loosening these up. So those are key features right there. Um, is that something that will deter you? Possibly. But let's look at the uh, next feature I find very interesting is the pedal plate. This has a bottom bracket for extra st stability. And then it also has uh, a whole pedal plate on its own. While over here has no stability and basically, I don't know, I gotta be honest. It's very sturdy, but there is no bottom bracket to kind of keep it in place without moving. So that kind of can be a deterrent if you're looking for something sturdy. But if you're just looking for portability, I think there's a winner. But if you're looking for portability and sturdiness, then this would be your guy. So another feature is this does not have wheels. It does not have bottom little rubber pieces to keep it sturdy from moving on carpet or moving on hard floors. This has wheels and it has the bottom brackets. See, they're four rubber and they stick really hard. So let's go ahead and look at another feature is the uh, motor plate. On the motor plate, you can see that this is like the one out of like a full rig. This is very sturdy. We did some tests and it's very strong. But over here, this one over here is kind of the opposite. We have a motor plate that not necessarily that strong. Um, there is a little flex, 
um, when you move it. I could get, demonstrate it. But for this motor, that's fine. This is not that powerful of a motor. You barely feel the feedback. So if I was basing it off like, okay, I have a T300 and I want um, you know, a portable stand, I'm just gonna go and buy the wheel stand DD, then yeah, you can run it. That motor will go on there, but do you need it? No. This one is cheaper and like I said, it really does fold up, which so if you don't have somewhere to just leave it out, this goes fold up in your closet. This, you gotta, you have to remove the braces and then it kind of folds up. Uh, do you have a big enough closet to just roll it in? Then I would go this route. So in the end, there's different key features. You, uh, the shifter mount is a little wiggly. You gotta remember, this is this is a bare minimum entry level rig. This is actually a portable high end pro racer rig. So very different. I actually have this off over here. We have it off because we were doing a lot of testing and we had to go through doors that were really, really short. But I wanted to show this. This right here, this bracket that they put in and welded, that keeps this from flexing. And this is really stiff. A lot of pressure so let's jump back and look at them side by side from this view they're both beautiful devices they're both portable you can go anywhere that motor could go on here but this motor cannot go on here this would actually snap on here so if you're looking to run a direct drive on a portable this is your route don't go this route you'll regret it and the cutouts are not even there anyways you'd have to do it yourself um, overall though, they're both great rigs. Um, they both uh, go for any type of racer that is looking for that special need. Over here, you have someone who is on a budget and is looking to just get in and have a position of shifter and wheel. Over here, you have someone who probably already has a really nice rig at home, but wants to also have a portable device in his house to go to his living room, his bedroom, just about anywhere or even go to a friend's house or even a sim a racing arena event so the, another feature though that i would like to see added for the wheel stand dd is there's four uh dropout bolts right down here where these are screw into i would like to see a plate that comes out and connects with a uh with seat brackets so i can go ahead and have a full rig if i want at home that is also portable it comes apart really simply and you just throw it together and maybe i just don't want to use the seat and i want to sit on a couch you know then i could just take it off and then move it to my couch um the reason i like that is because i run a f1 gt rig at home and it's not that portable in any sense and taking it apart is kind of a pain um so seeing that with the uh, seat bracket right there and being able to put on a sparko seat or just any type of seat um, would be really cool. Um, so that's a that's an option uh, to see uh, next level racing. I would really like that. Um, if you guys don't make it, I'm gonna make one. Uh, it's a simple flat bracket, and then has the seat brackets for the seat to drop into. So and then it it's easily comes off because it's just four bolts. But um, that's our conclusion. Um, it's for you know two ninety nine. You're getting a a super sturdy rig. Um, price on this, I believe, is like around like 150. Uh, that, that's a good price for an entry level rig, and you're probably already running a G25 up to a you know what? Uh, what is this one? A T300? Yeah, T300. T300. So that's perfect. This setup right here is perfect. This setup right here is perfect. So you guys think on your own. Figure out what works best for you. Um, I highly recommend this wheel stand because it actually works. Um, I was just telling my wife that I almost prefer just using this permanently over the GT, uh, F1 GT I have, because I just, I feel sturdy. Uh, on the F1 GT, there's a little bit of flex. It's an older rig. Um, I even had to put some extra washers on there just to get a strong, you know, bite. Um, so it's time to probably retire it, but I need that plate to come out 
with a seat bracket so I could drop a seat in. So next level, let's work together, let's get that made. Um, a lot of people are gonna want that because that's an accessory to the wheel stand DD. Anyways guys, we'll catch you guys later. Make your choice, have fun. I hope the video was fun. Uh, I had fun filming today. It's probably my funnest video I've ever filmed. So there's many more coming. We'll catch you guys later. Peace. All right, guys, we're out of here. Have fun.